it is unreal how everything that led to, you know, the start of the match was so good. It felt like I was watching a totally different anime. So many different background characters moving, right? Different scenes with assets, different things. So like colorful. Just like there was like this one part where they had food in the dish. It's like miso soup and soy sauce. And you could see the liquids and it kind of move as we dropped the, you know, the thing on the table. And I was like, hey, I, is this the same studio? A am I watching Blue Lock right now? And then the whistle and then the kickoff happened. And, and then we got the same thing of, you know, still fucking frame zooming over. But hey, it, it is what it is. It's still hype regardless. I think the setup, you know, leading up to the U20 was actually significantly hype. There was also a lot of different background characters like Chigiri's parents and whatnot. That was kind of like fun Easter eggs. He's like his parents watching right now too. But here's the issue. Is the actual soccer match is going to be hype? I heard today's episode was actually half decent. Let's find out. Okay, let's go, Bachira. And then the spin on the ball, right? At full speed. That scene was really cool. Okay. Nani? Can I work on the stage? Oliva. Yeah, this is just straight up reuse recap. I mean, this is a pretty hype scene though. And then Oliver says, I want to put a color on you, boy. <laughs> Aiko, Oliva. Okay. Yeah, and he's tall as fuck, his physique. The ultimate defender. Oh. <laughs> it's the ultra instinct reflex, but, you know, he uses it for defense. It's just superior. U20 defense is pretty hype. I'm not sure about anything else. <laughs> Yo. I have a feeling because of Oliver's little, like, there was, it wasn't really a backstory, but there was a bit that hinted at Oliver never wanted to play defense, but because of his physique, he, the coach put him in defense, right? So I feel like he will strike and get a goal, maybe. Like, he'll say, fuck this shit. I'm going to play for myself later on. I hope there's a moment like that in the future. Itoshi Sai. Oh, okay. Whenever an anime episode title is named after, like, a character, Itoshi Sai's. Oh, shit. He's going to pop off today. Those kind of episodes are probably crazy. <laughs> Ninja. It actually makes sense for this guy. Like, like, you know how we've been memeing about PNG log, you know, drag log, slide log, but like, because of the, whatever this guy is supposed to represent and like the after images, that was kind of smooth. The after images, I don't know. <laughs> Darai Miroku. Tattooed monk. Yeah. Oh, whoa. Okay. Fucking, if there's a light, there is darkness. And if there's darkness, there's light ass fucking monologue. What are, what are you trying to say right now? Are you? Ooh. What the fuck is this? Oh, his, his tat is literally a soccer ball in the middle of his head. Yeah, I don't know what he's smelling, to be honest. There is this. The duelist. 1v1 pro. Hey, it's Garo. In this frame, you have a background character with this leg still up in the air, but nothing moves. Watch this scene again. Watch this guy in the background. He's just pausing for the fucking dialogue, bro. <laughs> oh, 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 o
Let me say La Boba. Yeah, Boba. Yeah, he did. Oh. Oh, we saw that in the trailer. La Boba is a move. Got it. You're a herbivore. Just say you're a fucking vegetarian. <laughs> Herbivore, carnivore. All right, bros are herbivore. <laughs> fucking vegans. <laughs> Bro, what the hell? You were supposed to be. Okay, who the hell is this girl? Right, this. No, no. I think this is uh, Mr. Egoist is like secretary, right? But um, bro, he's supposed to be like one v one guy. If it's a one v one, he will win. Bro just lost! What's the point of your entire thing then? Yeah, put Monk in. That's right. Put Monk in, bro. Someone should start shitting on the on the bench right now. This is what I'd do. If I was a bench member and I really wanted to play, I'd be like, fully knowing that Ego is listening, I say it really loud. Oh my god! The 1v1 guy just lost a 1v1? What's the point of having him? Put me in, coach! I can play! Let me get a goal! Let's go, Nagi. Oh. Nagi just took a back shot. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Alright. You sure these dudes are talking? <laughs> the struggling. The end. What the fuck? He looked like he's about to choke him from behind and give him back shots, bro. What is this? <laughs> this is a hilarious episode so far. Yeah, he's powerful, right? He's pressing, all right. He fucking giving Nagi some back shots, all right. Sure. Ew, stinky breath. This has got to be the gayest frame I've seen in Blue Lock. <laughs> and he just said, here comes my master. Are you a dog? Yeah. And here comes my master, Oliver. Put me on a fucking leash. Put me on a collar. Oliver shows up. His hand is grabbing Nagi's crotch. While Doberman is still giving Nagi back shots right now. What in the fuck am I watching? Good boy? Good boy? Neo is taking it. No, Nagi is the one taking it like a good boy right now. This is comically funny. Iron Work Cartet. Oh. Isagi, come on, stop monologuing, pay attention. Uh oh. Itoshisai. He's gonna just fucking score. He's just gonna score, bro. The title's named after him. <laughs> the most biased commentators. These dudes. We're not saying shit when we had possession. Commentator my ass. It was just Isagi just doing commentating. And now, because Sai gets the ball, you talk? Bruh. <laughs> oh, Chiggity. Okay. Pass? Pass. <laughs> I got no clue who this is. Cho Kento. Gram. Su. Barashi. Gram. I hope that's what all they fucking say. This guy only says Su Barashi. Bro, it's a shampoo commercial. Oh. Karasu. Oh, oh, oh. Back to Sai. The triangle, the triangle made. Katenachi, your counter. Come on, Nico, do this, come on. Are, are you allowed to just do this? Bro, are you just. Isn't this just yellow flag? Yellow, yellow card, right? You gotta touch the ball. You're not even touching the ball. You're just jumping ahead and just using your arm to put the side back? Can you, can you do that? It's legal? Nah, you, you can't be right. There's no way this is legal. You can have contact for sure, but this kind of contact? Bro is in mid-air diving. <laughs> just fucking doing this right now. Kasuda uses hands. Karasu uses hands, but he's focused on the ball, right? 
His legs are on the fucking ball, and then he uses his hands to maneuver. This dude is just pulling it back. <laughs> Yellow card. Get Shigiri out of here, bro. Put Monk in. Oh, Gagamaru. Okay. The A striker. Come on, Gagamaru. React, bro, Mountain Man. Gagamaru. <laughs> That was a slap, but let's fucking go, Gagamaru. Let's go, Gigamaru. It's not over yet. Not yet. No, 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 no. Don't, get, don't give up, though. He's gonna do something crazy. Gaga! Oh. He didn't have the angle. What the fuck? He didn't have the angle, yet he scored. That's the difference, bro. He's on the world stage. And the crowd goes crazy. What was that? Such a tight angle. True. There was like three separate instances he's playmaking. Barro. Yo, put my Donkey King in there. Real. Yeah, they only care about Sai, man. And here's the best part. There's two types of people that can react to this kind of pressure. The first type will submit under the pressure. They'll think it's impossible. It's an away game. Everyone's cheering against us. I feel cucked. Let's give up. And then there's the other type. The maniacs who realizes how fun would it be if we beat them. And all these monkeys cheering, they're going to be so mad. Those kind of people thrive in away games. And I'm not sure what kind of person Isagi is. <laughs> bro looks bored. <laughs> the CGI soldiers, bro. <laughs> Something about this feels very like dystopian. Seeing the CGI cheerleaders all just move like this in the background, something about this just feels weird. <laughs> Look at them! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why does the boomer exec have such an imposing scene? The art goes crazy! The shading goes crazy! I can feel his aura! What? And his blood pressure. And his fucking receding hairline. Oh my god! Isagi, snap out of it! Bro's getting consumed. That's a bit gay, but that's kinda nice. Oh, Rin! Just keep your eyes on me. It's alright, bro. Yo, Rin's actually being like... Nice to Isagi. And Isagi, I think, was definitely like one of the few people that reached out to Rin before this match started. When Rin was pissed off just fucking working out and Isagi's like, yo, bro, like, what's going on? So like, I think they do share like a deeper connection than most than any other pairing right now if with Rin and somebody. Rin wants the revenge against Sai. Bro's not giving up so easy. <laughs> That's what I'm talking This is the exact mindset I'm talking about. Being excited to turn these cheers around to prove them wrong. Having that level of defiance is so important in competitive sports. Yo, the CGI fans are going crazy. Blaze. Birth of a hero. <laughs> there is one commentator that says something, and then the second one says, yeah. Yeah. Did you hear that? This, that other commentator ain't doing shit. The one guy says something and the other's like, you right, you right. Yep. True. Meat riding, bro. Oh, don't touch me. Oh, wow. Mmm. What a benevolent god. <laughs> Monkey mentioned. Yeah. Monkey. What? Huh? Gigamaru Glaze? Oliver is acknowledging Gigamaru that's never played Keeper in his life? Damn. That is mean. There's a lot. 
the blue log project bro we have so many fucking strikers mr worse than a monkey bro not just a monkey Sai is worse than me calling people monkey is worse than a monkey bro sub monkey like neanderthal no 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 Neanderthals are already like at that stage where you've evolved from monkey, right? We come from primates and there's like homo sapiens and like, you know, like these cavemen, you know, homo erectus, like the more like become like, you know, more upright and walking. So this is like before monkey. Sai has Ghetto's voice actor? That's even funnier. <laughs> this is so funny on so many levels because first of all, Sai is shitting on the A striker and the Sai can get more goals than him. And then on the second level is that he thinks U20 is his team, but Oliver, I think this is Oliver's team. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong, but to me, it feels like Oliver is the big captain, the big leader, and he's keeping everything grounded. And Mr. Striker here is just doing his own thing. <laughs> Gigamaru, don't worry. That's right, super reaction. <laughs> This glam guy, dude! What the fu- Where did that echo come from? Where? Okay. Yep. Passes the Sai, and then Sai makes the plays. Uh, break Sai. How do you break it? It's simple. Just get rid of Sai, but that's easier said than done, right? If Sai is the one that connects the defense to the strikers, if there's nothing to connect them, then it's over. If Sai has already gotten the ball, I think it's already over because he's just going to score. But then you could figure out a way to, like, you know, cripple the defenders, but that's also hard because Oliver is there. Jump him? Foul Sai? Y'all are fucked up. But maybe we should send um, Raichi in there. Raichi or Temple Monk? No, Shiro! Uh, ego, we should have. <sighs> we should have kept Shiro. Shiro should just went in to get a red card and Sai. <laughs> just to go in and break Sai's leg and get out. <laughs> that would be the dirtiest shit possible. But like, there is a role for the wild card to be played. Like, goddamn, Shiro would be perfect for that. <laughs> yeah, and then the U20 match wouldn't happen. It's not fun, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh, he's got a plan. Okay. That's right. And now you're on the stage, right? All that practice don't mean shit if you can't perform on the field. Like, I think more than half of competitive sports is mindset. Because no matter how hard you practice, right? If you can't fucking perform because you got stage frights, it's over. All that practice doesn't mean shit. Yeah. <gasps> It's pointless. Mm -hmm. I can relate. That's right. We need a clown to wake everyone up. Like, like I think there's a character named. Sakuragi Hanamichi in Slam Dunk, the red haired guy, he's kind of like that. Or, like, in a moment of everyone is just like dooming, you need a person that can kind of like pull aggro. It's like snap everyone out of it, do something so outlandish that everyone forgets what's even happening and they can focus on the match and have fun. Or Rin can just score. Rin can just score. And give hope to everyone else. That'll also work. <laughs> the best coach ever, bro. Can you hear a coach? Yeah. <laughs> Igor really said, I ain't fucking here to coach, bro. I'm here to do crazy monologues, eat cup ramen, put these kids through crazy fucking social experimentation, and then just go crazy. That's it. Y'all do your thing. Defense Peace I feel like Sai will lock down Rin. Oh, never mind. 
Yup. He really likes saying yup at the end of everything. Let's go, CGA Isagi. Here we go. Okay, golden combi? Wait, Rin and Isagi? Look at that fart aura. Watch it Pass? Dribble? What you gonna do? Alright, here we go. Hello, burglar. Put a collar on me. Who? Rin, no. <laughs> Revenger. <laughs> Took me a while to realize, but if he said Avenger, I'd be like, oh yeah, Rin. Ren needs to, you know, kill his big bro, you know, Sas uh, Sasuke wants to kill Itachi. Awaken Ren! There is no way this guy is under 20 either, bro. Oliver, Doberman, this guy. What the fuck is this? 20 years? Bro, he probably a 20 year old kid. Look at that jawline and the fucking chin. Same goal, same goal. Ooh. The same one. Ah, finish it though. Someone else, send him finish it. 1v1. Jamming action, okay, sure. Psych, got you. Oliver, bro. Isagi. Ninja. We're just yoloing this, man. Everything is just improv. Don't jinx it. There's a character in uh, Captain Tsubasa who also does this. He looks like Connie, shaved head kid, where he's kind of mid, but he has a lot of heart and his entire skill. He has a special move. Face save. This is it. Taking it fucking to the face. Ball's alive. Come on. And then fake it out. Ooh. Bruh. The control. They did save the budget for Nage Spin there. I'm, I, I appreciate that at the very least. They fucking put some animation for my man Nage. This is hype. Spin. Ooh. Molly. Yo. Everyone is so hyped about Nage. 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 Lazy genius, baby. Lazy genius. It is actually crazy how good Nage is. I'm so focused on Rin and everyone else, I forgot that Nagi exists. And if Nagi gets the ball, he just, he's just so good. Like, like, who the fuck fakes a shot like that, traps it, pivots, volleys? <laughs> the faces of men who are into sports gambling and their parlay is about to lose, bro. You know how much money has been fucking gambled for U20s win? <laughs> These dudes are losing it! Ooh, Nagi, are you okay? No injury. Nah, people are speechless. <laughs> that is actually so cool how such an impact. Something so crazy just happened. You don't even know how to process it. You're still sitting there late to a reaction because your brain is still thinking, did that just happen? And then when it catches up, the delayed response. <laughs> Parlay hit. <laughs> Bro, this title trolled me. Today's episode should have been Nagi's full name. Right? Nagi even said his entire full name. 
it, Itoshi Sai was the episode and Itoshi Sai was cool in the beginning half, huh? but like, yo, this is Nagi's episode. <laughs> A CGI fans are going crazy. Yo, that fucking pump. Look at that fist pump to the air with that shading. This is some, this is hype. This is actually super hype. My goat. And now, is there post credit scene? There's still a bit left. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Slowly, 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 slowly. Okay, we have additional time. Let's check out additional time. Additional time. Real. Multiple personality? The fuck? Yeah. Is, is this some green goblin shit? Like in Spider-Man? Where Willem Dafoe is looking at the mirror? He's like, Together, we can rule this city! <laughs> what the fuck is this? Hmm, who are you? <laughs> is he planning a move for Nagi? He's a lines for Nagi, I think. Rehearsing? Maybe. That would be actually hilarious. The chameleon, the jack of all trades who copies everything, has like a personality disorder. He doesn't even know who he is anymore. He's too deep in the sauce. Bro doesn't even know who he is. Yeah? Wow. That was profound. Chigiri and Kuro, come on, what the fuck? Is Nagi even thinking about him, actually? I don't know. Maybe it's rude for me to say Nagi doesn't even think about Ryo, but I think the chameleon act. Nagi was like, oh, that's actually pretty hype. Partner? Partner. Boyfriend. Bro, he's actually going crazy. He's arguing with himself in the mirror. He just pissed himself off in front of the mirror. And that is today's episode of Blue Lock. And you know what? Of course, there's some funny cringe moments here and there. But I think this episode was pretty damn hype. Blue Lock even with a lackluster animation. The story is so fucking compelling. Like, it was really cool. And today's episode, I think, was better animated than most, right? It wasn't just completely just fucking still frames being dragged across. Of course, there's instances where just balls just moving, but I think there was way more motion in this episode compared to before. It's an away game. We're just crippled under the pressure of the stadium as everyone glazes Itoshi Sai. And everyone is just kind of submitting under the pressure except Rin. Remember, in these kind of competitive like environments, the way to succeed and thrive is to have that level of defiance and ego where you're thinking excited that you're going to turn it around and all these, you know, away game glazers are going to be despairing. But look at that at the end. Bro, Nagi's goal, it was so hype that even the glazers are converting. They just love good soccer and what Nagi did was so insane. There was like a 10 second delayed reaction until their monkey brains could realize what just happened. What an insane goal. Makes me think that today's episode title should have been just Nagi's name, but that's it. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.